Hello, ECF and friends of ECF. Um, talking to you from a hotel room in Dallas uh, where I had to come for a couple of days this week. As I was on my way to the airport Monday, I swung by the um, uh, office and talked to the staff and said, hey, we need to we need to can what we had planned uh, for the pre-recorded newswire this week and, and replace it uh, in light of the news um, that all of us were hearing Monday morning as we awoke or Sunday night as we went to bed. Uh, it's a terrible tragedy in, um, in Vegas. It's hard to even fathom what different people are going through. Uh, the, the people that are, are hurting because loved ones uh, died in this tragedy, those who the 500 plus who are wounded uh, or, or those who are just suffering because of, uh, as one guy said, just watching the person next to him, next to him uh, get shot and, and fall dead in front of him. Uh, the, it's like a war zone. Um, it, it's, it would be someone's worst nightmare, I think. And so we've all been kind of grappling with that. And what do we do with that? I just want to take a minute and just, um, just speak a couple words into you. And some of these are, are some words that are coming from a pastor in, in Vegas, uh, a guy named Vance Pittman, who is, was interviewed by Christianity Today very briefly. And, and he just had some great words, I thought, and great uh, thoughts. And I think coming from someone who's living this out there in that city, uh, I think would be really an encouragement. He says, on a day like today, there are many things we don't know, but what we do know is that God is a refuge and strength, a very present help in times of trouble. As he quotes Psalm 46, he says, this is not a time to run from God as many want to do, but instead it's a time to run to God. He is our shelter and he's a refuge when we can find peace and comfort in moments like these. This is a dark day in our city. And I would add that this is a dark day in our nation, but the darker the darkness, the brighter the light of the gospel. Today is a day for the church to rise up not to back down, but to rise up and to demonstrate the love in life of Jesus to those who are hurting. There is hope in him, he says, and we know that. We have to believe that. And tragedies like this remind us of how little control we have of so many things in our world and, and how much we need someone infinitely greater than us to turn to. And the word of God reminds us that that's exactly who our God is. He's our refuge and our strength. He is the one we can turn to and trust even when we don't understand the situation, even when that evilness is so great that, um, that we have a hard time even fathoming uh, in our human brain how someone could do something like that and how the evil one gets a hold of someone like that. God is good and he's always at work. Psalm 23 reminds us that he prepares a table before us in the presence of our enemies. And I like the way Vance says, he says, that means he can turn battlefields in the banquet tables. I love that, turn battlefields into banquet tables. Our God can be trusted, and tragedies like this cause all of us to think about what we really believe. I'd be lying if I didn't say I have a lot of an answered questions, but I know the God who has the answers, and then today and tomorrow is a day to run to Him. And I pray that as you finish out this week, that, that you would just be God's people that are speaking into the lives of those who are hurting. I was, I was in an Uber today, and um, uh, the Uber driver was talking about how he had been a, a driver for about a month, and so I was kind of quizzing him about his job. He said, well, it gets really interesting. I have some really interesting people, but he said the most interesting thing that happened was I was at a stop sign, and, and uh, just right across from me, I heard a shot and a guy was shot in the stomach and he, he grabbed his abdomen and bent over groaning and he said, I, I just, I, I didn't know what to do and I'd never seen anything like that. And he's talked about how that, that, that was just so impactful in his life. And I thought, wow, that's just, that is what people have gone through this past weekend. And at the same time, he had this, this Bible sitting up on his dashboard. And I said, you know, buddy, listen, all I can tell you is you just stand strong on that, that, that book that's on your dashboard because that is the word of God and it can be trusted. And he said, you know what, you're right, I'll do that. And I think just putting those good words for Jesus along the way is so important. I, I trust it and, and pray that, you'll, that that will be what you're about this week and that I'll be about that and we can encourage each other to be about that. God loves you dearly. Um, he loves the city of Las, uh, of Las Vegas dearly. And uh, I pray that we would be his instruments to help change this world. I hope you'll join us on Sunday as we talk about Ezra and Nehemiah. This is really a story of, of returning from exile and rebuilding. And I think of so many of us in our lives, how we just need to return to Jesus and let him rebuild our lives. And I hope that's what you'll be about this week. Um, look forward to seeing you. Hope the rest of your week is, is filled with exactly what he has in store for you. 
Just know that he loves you as you go into your week. God bless you, and we'll see you Sunday.